Lara Croft is no longer a Tomb Raider. Yeah, the actual name of the whole franchise that's over 30 years old, Tomb Raider, has no meaning at this point. It's it's pretty much dead and buried. It's like every time they make something new with Tomb Raider, they have to change something about the series. They just can't keep it true to the original source material, whether it's making Lara Croft look uglier, whether it's doing stupid stuff with the way that the gameplay mechanics go with the game. I, it, there's always something with it. And now the latest thing is they are ditching her profession. She's no longer a Tomb Raider. And it amounts to white man bad, essentially. Yeah, we got another victim of wokeness in the gaming industry. But funny enough, this isn't even a video game that it's suffering through. Crystal Dynamics is having a tabletop RPG game made by Evil Hat Productions, who went ahead and just scrapped the whole Laura Croft is a Tomb Raider profession out of the window. Now she's a truth seeker what is a true seeker well on their website they reveal that players play as members of the truth seekers who are contemporaries of laura croft they strive to reveal long-hidden knowledge and thwart those who would steal and exploit artifacts for their own gains all right on paper that might sound okay you know people who protect hidden knowledge and artifacts because they don't want evil people to get a hold of stuff. It sounds very National Treasure if you watch the Disney movie. But it, here's where stuff starts to get a little bit whack when you think about the reason why they're ditching the Tomb Raider aspect because they literally condemn Tomb Raiding. So Tomb Raider Chronicles reported that an alleged excerpt from the game says... Raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have historical or cultural claim to the treasure. So now it's saying, you know, essentially Tomb Raiders are thieves that... It's first come, first serve. You go into the, I guess, tomb of King Tut. You claim what's yours, and it doesn't matter if it has historical value or not, that you're just essentially pillaging and wrecking history. I guess that's one perspective that you could see here, but it starts to get a little kind of huh, social justice-y when you listen to the rest of this excerpt. It says, later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having Lara Croft acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. She has also worked to reform Raider culture and raise the awareness of her peers. So essentially, it's shaming Tomb Raiding and everything that was about the whole Tomb Raider franchise and Laura Croft as a whole, like she's atoning for her sins of being a Tomb Raider. It's it's weird. It's it's like she feels guilty about her past. She doesn't want to uh, be who she is. The whole concept of Laura Croft is that she literally goes into tombs, raids them, looks for treasures, and and she's a badass. And now every single thing that they ever made with her from all the past games, they're throwing it away for I guess. To please people that, that hate this type of stuff, that, that find social justice and everything. Because look at this next this next excerpt that we're going to get right here. It says, Laura no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth. Much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. Like, gag me with a freaking spoon on this. Grandstanding, and I, I, I don't know why they have to try to... I don't even know what the proper term for this, but it's just so cringe. It This is literally what wokeness is about. For some reason, it's it's basically just grandstanding and trying to virtue signal for no reason at all other than to trash what was previously made with the source material. And again, Tomb Raider ain't the only franchise that does this. Star Wars has done it. Marvel has done it. Every single thing that you could think of that has any kind of like nostalgic appeal eventually atones for its sins later on. You get this. They, they finish this off with the most cringy part of all. It says, we believe that all three aspects are an important component in creating a game that celebrates 
history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism. And boom, that's the freaking buzzword right there, ladies and gentlemen. Colonialism, right? Because the colonizers, the white man, they're the bad ones, guys. We can't have Laura Croft be a Tomb Raider anymore because colonialism, it's all traced back to that. They came to our land, they pillaged and took over everything and brought disease and famine and stole artifacts, and they're just white man bad. Laura Croft can't associate with white men, all right? She's a strong, independent woman that needs to be part of the echo chamber. Nothing about being in the echo chamber is independent at all. And and this is where it's like, okay, they essentially destroyed this. At this point, why don't you make a brand new franchise? Why go and ruin something? And this is this is what I find annoying about things like this. And actually, it's causing a bit of a backlash as as all. So it's it's just. I don't know. It, it just, the more that it continues on and you read these excerpts, like this last one, in this game, we seek to continue in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. It doesn't even sound like a tabletop RPG game for Tomb Raider. It sounds like a tabletop hate the colonizer game <laughs> that's essentially what it sounds like a truth seeker is a new uh i guess label for the word social justice warrior you know hate white men type of group the truth seekers aka a group of white hating snowflakes essentially <laughs> and it's just i don't know dude uh this is pretty bad. It's getting a bit of a backlash. Friends of the channel, Melanie Mack, she actually made a call to action. She's actually calling for Embracer Group, who currently owns Crystal Dynamics, to shut down Crystal Dynamics after this whole <laughs> nonsense of ditching Laura Croft's Tomb Raider profession. And and I, I got to agree on this aspect. Uh, she made the video not too long ago called Laura Croft is No Longer a Tomb Raider. She made some freaking huge nukes on crystal dynamics in her video if you go and check it out she said that laura croft was created as a grave robber a tomb raider quite literally is now just not only physically been transformed but is also her motivations everything the entire premise of the game and laura croft as a character are being transformed in very terrible direction and i that's exactly how i feel that it's like Everything that made Lara Croft the character that she was, everything from the movies, the video games, you name it, has essentially just been evaporated. Like, what? what's the point of Lara Croft at this point if, if her original motivation of being a Tomb Raider now means nothing? That she's literally apologizing and hating it because of colonialism. That's fucking whack. And Melanie Mac continued to say, obviously, the Tomb Raider fan base is not happy about this because you are changing everything. We tried to tell the reboot stands. We tried to tell them they're changing everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the same Laura Croft. And, and, and that was the thing. You know, they changed up this franchise so many times and they still said, oh, it's the same Laura Croft. She's just she's just becoming enlightened. She's atoning for, you know, her sin. She's admitting this guilt and she's, you know, white man bad and that tomb raiding is bad. And it's just, no, 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 no. Like, imagine if Super Mario suddenly changed who he is. <laughs> you know, I think Lara Croft is pretty iconic. She's in the, you know, the, the, the line of historical video game characters of all time. She's carved her path. You know, who Laura Croft is and originally is, is what makes her iconic. And to suddenly years later be trying to change that up, I don't jive with that. I don't jive with that. And Mac actually asked, you know, out loud, she said, please let this be a colossal flop. Who's going to support this anyway? I don't know, but I don't see most mainstream Tomb Raider fans doing that. Most of the Tomb Raider fan base are not going to want to support this. And I completely fucking agree with that sentiment. It's it's like every time we have a franchise we like, like Star Wars, Marvel, Tomb Raider, whatever you name it, people go and try to change this stuff to get like their personal political commentary narrative out there. And that's that's it's infecting everything. It's becoming quite annoying. And and this call of action for Embracer Group to shut down Crystal Dynamics, uh, 
I think is justified. It's well warranted, especially when they want to try to just make it about colonialism. Like, like it's about seeking truth against everything that she originally stood for. It just, it's not a good thing to fuck with what people like like that. At that point, just make a brand new franchise. Make a brand new character. Do anything but throw that name Tomb Raider on it. What you're... She's not a Tomb Raider, but you're still calling it Tomb Raider. That that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> like at that point, you're just trying to use the name to make money off of it. So is it is it bad or is it still a money maker and you have to use the name Tomb Raider on it, but throw away every single thing about it that made it a successful franchise. You're just using the name as a shell at this point. Makes no sense. It makes no sense.